。随着晶片问题趋缓情况下，再加上市场对于电动车的接受度逐渐的提高。台湾电动车第一季的挂牌超过了五千辆，年成长是百分之八十三。而下半年还有许多首度导入量贩电动车的品牌将会加入战场，都将让电动车的市场选择更加的多元化。Sharp streamlined appearance, two flagship models of an electric car leading brand were unveiled on stage, equipped with top-of-the-line configurations. A three-model all-wheel drive design and a combined power output of over 1,000 horsepower. It only takes 2.1 seconds to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour. The interior is also very eye-catching. 全新改款新车呢，标配类似 F1 赛车的方向盘，而屏幕呢从原本的直视变成横幅显示。最酷的在这里，它能随着驾驶呢跟副驾的视角随时调整，提升使用体验。Equipped with a 17-inch high-resolution touch screen, which can even control the gear shift. Also, with a powerful AMD processor, it creates a car entertainment system. There is an 8-inch small screen in the back seat that can not only adjust the air conditioning and music, but also become a drama-watching artifact. The flagship model targets high-end customers and is expected to be delivered from the second quarter. The entry-level Model Y won the championship of the first quarter with 2,725 units sold. And traditional automakers are not going to sit there and watch the show. Based on their concept sports car, a Korean brand has launched its first pure electric sedan coupe, equipped with dual electric motors and featuring a wind-resistant coefficient of 0.21 cd. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just 5.1 seconds. Only 300 units were allocated for sale in Taiwan this year, and they were sold out in less than one hour. 未来每一年，我们都希望有一个全新的电动新车来到台湾市场。Continuing to introduce new models, all traditional car makers are getting into the game. Starting from the second half of this year, there are hopes for new models to hit the market. Such as the German luxury car EQS SUV, the Swedish brand's EX90 pure electric SUV that claims to be the safest and the first pure electric car from the American brand that Taiwanese consumers have been eagerly awaiting. Taiwan, 对于电动车这一块市场，我觉得需求来讲还是大过于供给的。很多人都会对于订新车，然后要等待一个比较长的交期，会去做一个等待。In the first quarter of 2023, the total sales of pure electric new cars in Taiwan reaches 5,324 units, a year-on-year -year growth of 83%. With the introduction of new cars in the second half of the year and a complete product lineup, it is expected to drive the electric car market in Taiwan. And the number of registered electric cars expected to exceed 1,000 units in growth. 台积电北美论坛在美国加州登场，不只是由总裁魏哲家主持，同时也跟美系客户信心喊话。二纳米制程二零二五年将会如期量产。另外，在车用接单上也传来了捷报，台积电首度抢下了日商本田的大单。而尽管说半导体景气不佳，台积电每年加薪的传统仍然是持续在进行。不过今年的调薪幅度平均在百分之三到百分之五，这对比于两年之前结构性的调薪幅度高达百分之二十，盛况不在。Semiconductor prosperity cools down, and tech industry salary adjustment returned to normal. Every year in April, TSMC adjusts salaries, and this year the average adjustment is set to be between three to five percent, benefiting nearly 49,000 employees. However, compared to last year's increase of up to 20 percent, there are no surprises this year. Even though the official figures were not released last year, rumors suggested an eight percent increase. 科技业这边有这个加薪，但是这个幅度呢，呃，这个没有前两年来的那么大，只能算是例行性的一个调薪哦。呃，主要目的还是要这个留住人才跟呃同业来这个抢才了，但整体来看还是存在着这个库存去化的这个隐忧。However, in order to retain and attract talents, 
The tech industry still offers relatively high salaries and benefits compared to other industries. A tech industry employee conducted a survey on industry salary rankings and found that system vendors such as Delta Electronics, Quanta Computer, Foxconn, and Asus, and so on, offer some of the highest salaries in the industry. Previous surveys have shown that Delta Electronics' average monthly salary is $50,873, which is even higher than TSMC's in the same survey. Taiwan Stock Exchange data also shows that Delta Electronics' average annual salary for employees in 2020 was high as $1.43 million. Even though the tech industry is facing an economic downturn, the fixed salaries adjustment and relatively high salary levels still make many office workers flock to this industry. 好的，现在要看的是今天的英文关键字，带您来认识的是刚刚所看到的是 downturn 这个字，它有衰退的、低迷的、向下走这样的趋势，这样的意思啊、哦。像是刚刚在新闻当中所提到了，全球的科技业正面临着景气低迷，那么我们就可以说是 the global technology industry is facing a downturn。好的，以上就是今天的英文关键字。